Hello, badasses and good asses alike. It's your boy, Ass Milk here, for another spicy video. I just want to say, holy shit, we have made it to the 10th edition of the Don't Laugh Challenge. Wow. That's right, Owen Wilson. Wow, indeed. Honestly, it means a lot that you guys are still watching these after this many of these videos, especially when I have such a good track record of not laughing at a single submission you guys have sent in. Liar! So yes, today we're going to be doing uh, some more Don't Laugh Challenges. I was going to film the very first Don't Cringe Challenge, but the way the world is right now, I feel like we all need a good laugh. By the way, I hope your quarantine is going well and you haven't lost your mind yet. I haven't! <laughs> I'm doing great. Really quick though, this video has been graciously sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Get it! Raid Shadow Legends. Get it. All right, that's it. I'm just kidding. Seriously though, if you are incredibly bored like a lot of us are right now, there's never been a better time to check out Raid Shadow Legends, a free-to-play turn-based RPG for both mobile and desktop. Whether you're a fan of PvP battles, story-based PvE missions, or collecting champions, Raid has a little something for everyone. With over 400 champions to collect, it's easily my favorite aspect about the game. And collecting champions is as easy as opening up a couple of ancient shards, which give you new champions to fight with. From this dude, to this lady I opened, who's kind of thick, not gonna lie, to this barbarian dude who you know is a badass because because both of his nips are pierced. And right now they have a daily login reward program that gives you access to my future wife, the Sill of the Drakes. So if you'd like to support the channel, definitely check out Raid Shadow Legends today and get 100,000 silver, a bunch of in-game goodies, and a free epic champion, the Executioner, as part of their new player program. Get it! All right, now on to the submissions, which I have to say, I'm very astonished by the fact that after all of these videos of the Don't Laugh Challenge, you guys are still sending in the worst submissions of all time. I mean, like, TikToks? TikToks! Guys, guys, I said we are filming the Don't Cringe Challenge next time. Save the TikToks for then. If I get another person sending me another fucking TikTok saying, Death to check out this TikTok, it's hilarious! I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> so, on to the first one. Let's go. Here, jetzt lass alles nach vorne fallen. Alles nach vorne. Nacken locker, Gesicht locker, alles locker und atmen, atmen, atmen. Ja, ausatmen. Sehr gut. So. Und nochmal tief durch die Nase ein. Und hörbar durch den Mund aus. I feel like the one funny thing about this video is just imagining if you were actually in a yoga class and the guy's just like, oh, that's gonna be me. I'm gonna be that yoga teacher. How many sexual harassment suits do I have? Oh, you know. <laughs> this reminds me of, if you've ever seen the movie MacGruber, there's a part in MacGruber where it's supposed to be like this really uh, romantic sex scene. And then all of a sudden it goes to what's actually happening and the sounds that he's making. You know what? Fuck it, we're gonna play it. I'm going to freaking explode inside you, I'm going <laughs> to spill it, I'm going to fill you up. I'm going to do it! I don't know why that clip reminded me of this scene, but it did. Also, if you're ever wondering what I sound like during sex, it's this. <laughs> Shit. To a T, that's what I sound like. Somebody come get her, she dancing like a stripper. <laughs> Somebody come get her, she dancing like a stripper. No, so that's a no for me. Buddy, I didn't mean that when I called you fat. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You are summer ready, I promise. Can we make peace? <laughs> What did I say about TikToks, guys? Come on! You know what's hilarious is TikToks! Oh no, TikToks! I'm gonna say this from our TikToks now! Woohoo! Oh my god! Also, what is it with people putting the wavering audio effect on things and just thinking that automatically makes it funny? Like, if I go like this... Whoa! Oh no! It's like, okay, that's funny, but if I put a wavering audio thing on it... Whoa! Oh no! All of a sudden, it's like the most fucking comedic thing you've ever seen. <laughs> myself so much for laughing. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Come on. Who the fuck just learns this skill? Like, <laughs> have a thousand other skills you can learn in life. It's like, no. <laughs> I feel like I don't need to really defend my sense of humor because you guys know it's really stupid, but come on. <laughs> Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to shop somewhere strange? Timber, tin, and black lipstick. Make 
I am the one selling Deadpool goodies, anime shirts, and Doctor Who goodies. <laughs> it was a cough. It was <coughs> that was a cough. It wasn't a laugh, guys. It doesn't count. Oh no, dude. I did a cough. That's just got corona. Angrily drinks a truly. <laughs> you okay? Did I get it on you? My bad. I'll jump in, I'll jump in. I just find this one funny because it's so fucking true. <laughs> like the amount of friends that I've had that go into Hot Topic and buy like everything that was listed in this video is quite hilarious. Do you guys remember like the early 2009 Hot Topic when it looked all like fucking hardcore outside? Looked like a fucking Daedric Blade from Skyrim. <laughs> all spiky and gross looking. That was my Hot Topic, okay? Especially because they actually sold a couple of merch items from my store in there, which was cool. I will always be mad about that though because not only did they not use any of the designs that we sent them but they also came up with this like fucking stupid ass dolphin or some shit and then they put destry rocks on it or something i think i think that's what it says and then that's the shirt they went with that sold in fucking hot topic and i'm like why a dolphin for one and then i'm pretty sure i never saw a paycheck from that so it's either that a it didn't sell any units at all or you know hot topic was like you know what fuck this guy I'm just not gonna give him money either way man fuck hot topic i don't like it now get back in front of the car Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, officer. I'm sorry. What is wrong with you? Man, I apologize, but oh. I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. Ah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't feel like I'm allowed to laugh at this. Ah. <laughs> Get up! Get up! I can neither confirm nor deny that I laughed at this video. It definitely was not edited out if I did laugh at it. Also, I never knew that Kevin Hart got arrested. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one of the things that I just laughed at is part of the tags of this video is Goblin. <laughs> what? Why Goblin? If you guys ever look at my tags in future videos and I just put Goblin in there, you know why. <laughs> Call an ambulance, please. Okay, hold on. Where does it hurt? Ah, uh, my stomach. Uh, uh, I have a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> I didn't know what this video was about. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I just hear a fucking low voiced man going, I have a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> Makes me laugh thinking like, what if this is the only Japanese you know? <laughs> I'm set to go to Japan. <laughs> The only Japanese you need to know. So I have really bad diarrhea. Oh fucking hell! Okay. Now they're dancing. I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Hey, everyone, join in. I gotta do the dance. Now. I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad. I now see why everyone likes K-pop. This is really good. <laughs> what in the comments? <laughs> what in the com? What in the comments says? <laughs> I can't find stuff. Uh, when a Japanese person <laughs> visits Taco. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> Can you guys see my fucking eyes? <laughs> Oh, uh, just set that as my fucking ringtone. Just walking around. I have a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I gotta take this. <laughs> Destry, what the fuck is your ringtone? What, dude? It's good. <laughs> ah, whoo. Oh man, the classic. This is like one of the oldest fucking videos on the internet. Oof. One of the comments for this is, they kept their eyes open the whole time. Now that's true love making, guys. You ever done that? Like actually like kissed with your eyes open? It's really fucking weird. Especially cause like they're so close to you. So like all you can see is their eyes. You know, you can't like divert your fucking gaze anywhere else. It's just like, ah, stop it. Ugh, literally can't stop thinking of, I've got a bad kiss on Okay. <clears throat>
Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. Bring your trade. Bring your title. Bring your wife. Real fucker. That's... <laughs> Because at Big Bill Hell, you're but six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Fuck, dude, I keep the laughing. Hole. What the fuck? Ugh. I wish more companies actually did this. I did the haha. -ha. That was a phony. <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> How come Snoop Dogg is allowed to do this? But anytime I say Ching Chong, I'm I'm called a racist. I'm even Filipino. I'm allowed to say these things. One of the comments is like, he's probably high. Really? You think Snoop Dogg's high? Oh, I I would never have guessed that. No way. No way. You got a bit in my ass. You forget, boy. You got a it's me and you, bitch. This actually harkens back to when I sang Randy Newman uh, at a karaoke party. You got a friend in me, uh huh? And one of my quirks is that every single time I sing anything, I have to say bitch in it. I don't know why, it's just, you know. You got a friend in me, bitch. It's pretty spot on though, right? But I think more than anything with this video, I'm just wondering who the fuck made this? Like, who has the time to sit and just make this? I bet you someone in quarantine made this song. <laughs> Maybe someone didn't edit this and this was actually Randy Newman's first, like, the first thing that he sent into Disney <laughs> for their approval. He's like, oh, what do you think about this? You know, Randy, uh, you know this is a kid's movie, right? We can't say, uh, you've got a dick in my ass. Oh, okay. All right, well, this is going to do it for this episode of the Don't Laugh Challenge. How'd you do? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope that even if you thought that these clips were garbage, because they were, hope that I was still able to alleviate the uh, crippling depression that you might have because of the coronavirus happening right now. Not to get too serious, but these are quite dark times that we are living in right now, and uh, I just want everyone out there to stay safe, stay home, and uh, yeah, I hope that everyone out there is doing doing well. Although on the positive side, I've been spending a lot more time with my cats uh, and playing Skyrim. So if you're if you're wondering what I've been up to lately, that's that's it. Uh, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe to the also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Also, if you're not completely sick of the stupid face, uh, you guys can check me out over on Twitch. I've been streaming a lot of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Been having a lot of fun over there. Make sure to follow me on Twitch to be notified when I go live. And yeah, that's it guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you next time, and fair winds. Holy shit, Scoob! Imagine a Scooby-Doo where he just cusses the whole time. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have a bad case of diarrhea.